Hi, let's learn the plural in Dutch. How do you form the plural in the Dutch language? Well, let's see an example. Een paard, twee paarden. A horse, two horses. Uh, een dans, twee dansen. A dance, two dances. So, we just add en there. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at another example. Een kop had twee koppen. Een raam, twee ramen. And there you see, well, you add en, but there's something that's happening with the letters just in front. Well, uh, this, if you have a, a vowel and a consonant at the end of the word, then you have to pay attention. If it's a short vowel, like kop, like o, it's not o, no, it's o, and then a vowel, and then you add en, you have to double the consonant. All right? And if you have two vowels or a long vowel, like in ram, a, it's not ram, a, no, it's ram, then you have to uh, take away one a. Right, so when you add en, uh, pay attention when you're writing the plural with the en. The majority of the nouns in Dutch will use this construction, but there are many exceptions. And the main exception is if you just add an s at the end. So uh, there are many rules of in which case to add en, it would in which case at s but it doesn't really help you to um, to learn all the differences uh, to learn all the rules because sometimes for some rules there are only a few words so it's better to um, talk as much as you can and to pay attention to what you hear and when people correct to you to make sure that you uh, you correct your own mistakes all right uh, and this s for example there is one rule that words ending in l m n u er, and j you would add an s for example an lepel to be lepels that's a spoon to spoons well you can learn the rules by heart but i wouldn't recommend it i would uh, recommend uh, learning those words those uh, that are not with en uh, those that you use very often, there I would uh, I would advise you to learn those. Another exception is with uh, apostrophe s, hmm? uh, and this we're going to use with uh, nouns ending in a vowel, a, i, o, u, and y, but not with the e. But about that, we'll, we're going to learn a little bit more in just a bit. For example, the oma. The grandmother, the granny, the omas, apostrophe s, the auto, the autos. But if your word ends with um, an e, as in tante, the aunt, well, then you're going to add an s simply, the tantes, the aunts. So, uh, that's it for the apostrophe s. And then uh, these two, there are, well, <laughs> there are quite a few words that use these, these uh, kind of, um, this s at the end. Um, not the majority, the majority is en, and then you have the s, and then you have some uh, plurals that are a little bit rare, but you see them as well. For example, a plural with urn. For example, het kind, de kinderen. The child, the children. Hmm? Or uh, het ei, the egg, the eieren. The eieren, the eggs. That's one exception. Second one is uh, a medium and podium. If a noun ends with um, which comes from Latin, the plural will be a. For example, media and podia. And medium means, um, well, um, I'm not sure in English, but the media, like a newspaper and television, these are the media. And in Dutch, the media is plural. 
and sometimes people forget that uh, that because it comes from het medium uh, one medium I think and two media all right uh, good and then uh, podium that's the uh, the stage uh, like in a theater uh, like a podium that's where you perform arts another and last exception is when your noun ends with head for example the overheid the government so the overheid then the plural will be the overheden that's another exception of course there are even more exceptions and exceptions on exceptions um, but these are the basic rules and if you're more interested in this uh, kop koppen and raam ramen why there is only one hey there there are more exercises in the series about the pronunciation uh, and this this uh, thing this uh, plural uh, was actually suggested by sonal thank you sonal for suggesting it and if you have any other suggestions uh, for any of the the people on this channel uh, feel free to write one and who knows maybe it will be in the next video tot ziens